Just wanted to open up this video with a little intro because there's not much intro to the video once it gets started. But I guys want to show you something that's really cool that happened in the boat the other day with a customer. Um, I made sure that what we did was completely legal. I called the warden while we were fighting this fish, made sure it was legal for what we're about to do. And hopefully you guys enjoy what you're about to see. So we've had this fish on for 20 minutes. We're jigging walleyes in the box. Some walleyes and we hooked into a giant spoon. We thought it was a snag at first and then uh, it started to move. So I gave Jess back the rod. And it reached right away, it came up and jumped right away. And it's actually hooked in the mouth and actually ate the bait. If it was just hooked in the tail or in the side or something, I just cut the line and let the fish be. But since it's in its mouth, I don't want it to get down the fish's intestines or whatnot, the jig is made of lead, so they can damage the fish. The fish is probably six feet long, maybe a little bit longer, and probably a hundred years old, so we don't want to kill the fish at all. We want to remove the jig, if possible, if we can get this fish in the boat and let it swim to see another day. Hey guys, I apologize for the wind. Uh, it was really windy on the river that day, but I hope you guys enjoyed the clip. And if anything ever has happened to you like that, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys want to get on the water and chase some walleyes with me this spring, there's also a link to my website below if you guys want to get out on a guided trip. Thanks.